Okay, today I'm going to show you how to change your domain name settings. So first of all we need to go to our domain registrar, mine's GoDaddy, and then we need to log into our domain manager or your account, whatever your web most host might call it. So with GoDaddy it's the domain manager which is just here, and or you can go by clicking the drop down menu for domains, either way. So I've already done that, so I'll just log in to my account, which is just here, and I've chosen from my list of domains, this one here, that I want to change the DNS settings on. Now all changing the DNS settings means is that we're telling our domain registrar that our website is actually going to be hosted somewhere else and we're pointing the domain name or the address of that website to the web host's name servers. So if we check the button here, you'll see that all the little icons will now display and click on the name servers icon and this will load up and make sure your radio button is custom name servers, I host my domains elsewhere is checked and down here you'll see the name servers for your domain registrar which is NS31 domain control and NS32 domain control. What we need to do is change that so it's the same name as our web host has given us for our name servers. So mine's with HostGator, so mine's ns613 full stop hostgator.com and ns614 full stop hostgator.com. Now some web hosts may have four name servers that they give you, so then you would just fill those details in one, two, three, and some uh, web hosts just have the two names. Now if you uh, don't know what your name servers are, you need to contact your web host and ask them. And before you do that, I'd go through your emails. And the very first email that you got from your web host when you signed up, it should tell you what your name servers are. But failing that, just contact the support desk at your web host. And once you've made those changes, then you can just click OK and that will process it. Now sometimes it can take up to 24 hours for this to propagate um, and sometimes it can just take 10 minutes. Because um, I want to make sure that my domain name servers have been changed, I usually do this 24 hours before I'm going to install the particular website that I want to do. And once you've done that, you'll see this little success message. Your changes have been submitted. You can just press OK. And that's it. In the next video, we'll add the domain name to our web host.